Oh. This is just simply an extension from yesterday's event. A fire and three bodies found inside a house yesterday and today another fire at the same crime scene in Lawrence County. Good evening. I'm Erica Thomas Dave is off tonight. 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti joins us with our top story tonight. Two days, two fires, all of the same house in Shenango Township, Lawrence County. Anytime there's a fire like this, the first thing you do is call the state fire marshal's office to make sure that they have them come in and do their investigation. Crews from five different departments were called back to this home on Circle Drive around 6.30. It's the same spot where brothers Daniel, Robert, and Richard Fonbell were recovered from the basement yesterday afternoon after another fire gutted the house. Chief Dave Rischel was one of the first on the scene this morning. I live approximately two minutes from here. When I arrived, the uh, structure was completely engulfed in flames. The state police fire marshal says someone intentionally started Thursday's blaze in several different locations using an accelerant. This time, however, investigators tell me the flames started in the attic, which had been used for storage. It appears that a hot ember was hidden up there somewhere and essentially smoldered until it got enough oxygen to rekindle and um, ignite the roof. This morning's fire burned away most of the attic and roof, as well as destroying a lot of what Thursday's arson did not. Investigators are still being very tight-lipped about what caused the first fire, as well as how the three brothers died. Chief Rischel, who's also a Lawrence County District Judge, tells me he knew all three of the men personally. Sources tell us they all lived together and were all mentally challenged. I'm told autopsies were to be done last night, but so far results have not been released. Still, troopers with the state police major crimes unit say they're pursuing the case as a triple homicide. In Shenango Township, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.